bro, 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 again, look, I try to make it full screen and put me small, but for some reason, it's not working, okay? <laughs> some reason, it's not working. So, I made the square a little bigger for y'all so y'all could be able to see. Because sometimes, I know y'all, nobody even complained about this, okay? I'm just creating problems. I'm creating solutions to problems that never was there. But in my opinion, uh, y'all probably couldn't really see the video good. So, I made it just a little bit bigger. And <clears throat> later on today, I'm going to find out how to... um make it full screen and make myself small so y'all can be able to see the video better but uh let's get into this video this is a crazy title bro crazy body cam two wisconsin cops killed in deadly shootout with man who is trained to kill police how is you trained to kill police is you literally trained to kill police or are you just a savage okay a savage and that's not a savage bro because you gotta think about it these cops got um, women and children to go home to most of the time. Most cops got children, okay? Like, nine times out of ten, the cop got at least a kid or a girlfriend, bro. Like, no, you ain't about to be a cop and be a nobody at the same time. You gotta be, you gotta have something going on at the house. He's got a rifle. He's got, got a rifle. rifle. Shots fired! Shots fired! He killed Two both Wisconsin of them? police officers are shot and killed after pulling over Dang. a suspect wanted for missing child support payments. Officials now call. My bad, bro. I got to pause it. I have to pause it. Did you hear what she said? He was missing child support payments. You created. You created child support payments into murder? Two? Two? Bro, you is crazy, bro. Calling him the epitome of evil. Ready? Are you good? Okay, we're approaching. This is crazy. Yeah, bro. we see it. All right, it's on his left. The Wisconsin Department of Justice released dozens of photos and videos to Law and Crime Network showing what led up to the deadly shooting on April 8th. It happened in Barron County, about two hours east of Minneapolis. Shatek Police Officer Emily Breidenbach and Cameron Police Officer Hunter Scheel pulled over an SUV driven by 50-year-old Glenn Douglas Perry. That's crazy, Perry bro. Perry was armed I with mean, a rifle. I mean, he is 50. He probably just don't care about life anymore. Both officers are down. He's set up with a rifle. Dang. <laughs> she just said it's so hard to be used to this type of stuff, bro. So I'm It's crazy. 327, we have two officers. Two officers down. He is set up with a rifle. Prior to the Dang, shooting, like officials say just... Perry was displaying concerning behavior after a Dang, messy he's six, divorce. He's six foot. In an interview post-shooting, Perry's ex-wife told officials she believed he was bipolar and schizophrenic. She also noted he had multiple... Okay, bro. That's not a rifle. Okay, it's a rifle, but it's not a rifle. Not the kind of rifle I had in mind. I had it in mind like an AK-47. Y'all telling me y'all got semi-automatic pistols and a shotgun in the back, and y'all let him murk y'all with a musket? That's basically a musket or a marksman, okay? That is crazy, bro. Y'all need better training, because that the is guns. crazy. Look at that gun. In an interview with detectives, Perry's son said he, quote, talks pretty bad about cops. His son also no noted way. Perry, quote, trains to kill them, more or less, with a gun range built on his property. Hey. Just days crying. before the shooting on March 30th, a civil bench warrant was issued for Perry after he went months without paying child support. Just one day before the shooting, the Barron County Sheriff sent out a warning yeah, email do be doing about people Perry's bad with their child support. behavior and mental health issues. Oh no, that was a real, the that's a rifle rifle. law enforcement officers to use, quote, extreme caution if approaching Perry as he carried a handgun at all times. 327, we have two officers, two officers down. He is set up with a rifle. According to a report by the Barron County District Attorney, 32-year-old officer Emily Breidenbach stopped Perry's vehicle on April 8th during Emily. a routine patrol shift. You killed the female? Breidenbach did not immediately pull him over because of the recent warning email. Instead, she called for backup. 23-year-old officer Hunter Shield What is she responded. doing? Shield's body camera footage shows the first moments of the traffic stop. She gone. What was she doing? That was so unnecessary. The I Barron just... County DA's report states that Breidenbach called out commands you ran to with your after back she pulled out. him over. Nearly immediately, you ran with your back out when you could have hide behind that car and just 
He's got a rifle. He's got a rifle. Like, what was that about? You ran. You, a dude come out the car pointing his gun. Either like this or backpedal a little bit. But you full on turned around and ran? Bro. Shot fire, shot they fire. need to train y'all better, bro. <laughs> officer down, officer down, officer down. Shield can be heard putting out a shots fired call before his body camera video shows him falling to the ground. Stay ready. Why did you get out of cover? Why is your gun bow? After this, a call for backup comes out across radio Dang, traffic. He just down, officer, down, demon officer, down. walking over the. Right, just right, demon right, walking right, over right. this man's body. He is. My bad, y'all. This is crazy, bro. Like, this is real. This really happened. A 911 call also comes in from a witness nearby. Aaron County 911, where is your emergency? Hi, I'm I'm actually just sitting here. Um, I ended up pulling over because I saw uh, a dog in the middle of the road, and then all of a sudden I see an officer down and a gentleman on the ground. Looks like he's bleeding from his leg and a rifle on the ground as well. Dang. Quickly, a call goes out for emergency responders. Aaron County Sheriff's Department, Beijing Mayo Clinic Ambulance, you requested Highway 8 double S, Highway 8 double S for an officer involved shooting. Time is 1539. I didn't think they guns like that was that dangerous. Bro just murked them all with a musket. Bro really Both ki officers are down. He killed two people rifle. that had semi-automatic pistols with a musket, arrive, bro. Work to secure the scene, calling for onlookers to leave immediately. Get out of here. Get out of here! Go! Go. Video then shows officers arriving to the scene of the shooting. Requesting all detectives, please. Requesting all detectives. Where he went? He could have been got away. That's he. We're approaching. Yeah, we see it. All right, it's on his left. Why every cop got hairy arms, bro? I got the. Like, look how hairy that man arm is. I got lethal. Yep. That's I a coffee drinker Already right there. Radio chatter notes the suspect may be wounded. I believe the subject is down. I believe the subject is down. There's three subjects down. Officers on the scene three confirm suspects. that. Three suspects, what? 331, Baron, I do not have eyes on the subject at this time. Baron 4. She whipping that car. I believe the subject is down. I believe the subject is down. There's three subjects down. Jess. Oh, the other cops. No, I don't know. Is he down? She put it on full auto? What? What? what she did right there? He's down. At the same time, officers distance I never used weapon a gun from before, him so I don't know what, that, more what she did right there. Get this rifle. Yep. I got lethal. I got, you got that? Yep. Okay, roll him. Ooh, that's the rifle he was using, or they was using. Because if he killed a cop, and the cop had a AR-15, and the other one had a pistol, and he had a musket, marksman, whatever that was, y'all really need. He's the bad guy's also shot. Like y'all really yeah, need training, bro. Well, y'all can't get training anymore. Clear. Clear. I got it. I got it. No. No. Back's clear. Front's clear. Front's clear. Got another rifle up front. According to the DA's report, Breidenbach fired two shots before Perry fatally shot her. Scheel also fired his weapon, but also was shot and killed by Perry. Officials what? say Perry was shot in the leg. He later died at the hospital. Per the Barron County District Attorney's final report, both Breidenbach and Scheel were justified in their deadly use of force. The report also states that Perry obtained all the weapons used in the shooting and later recovered in his vehicle and at his home legally. Report wait, 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 wait. So the cop got to keep the man gun? I don't know. I'm confused. Y'all tell me what happened there. All I know is what I just watched is crazy. Okay, it's crazy. You turn 
I still can't make this out. How you turn a freaking what they call child support into two murders, like two? Like, is you that dumb? What is going on in today's society when you turn a freaking child support into two murders? Even if it's not a murder, bro, you shot a cop, it's over. You is getting life. You is not even coming home. That, bro, that's what I'm saying. Some people need mental help. I think bro really needed mental help. Because what in your mind think a traffic stop like that or a stop like that would even, like, be that serious? And them cops better than me, bro. Like, my pistol... If I was a cop, my pistol be, will be so customized, bro. Talk about, I'm going to put a sight on my gun. Now, nah, I'm going to put a red dot, bro. I'm going to put a red dot. It probably wouldn't have been that much of a use in the daytime like that. But I be seeing them red dots still be working sometimes. I'm just saying, but we I style. Love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to have the original video in the link. So, don't do all that stuff. Uh, you talk so much. Bro, click the video in the description okay click the video in the description all right chill out calm down all right love y'all though